Hello everyone. Today in this video, we will talk about Azure cost analysis and some better alternatives to analyze and optimize your cost that is spent on Azure. In this fast growing Azure space, it is essential to scale up your Azure as the business scales up. As our business scales, we will be adding a lot of subscriptions and a lot of resources within those subscriptions from our Azure portal. Initially, it can seem like things are within our control. But over a period, we don't get a complete control of what's happening within our Azure because a lot of resources will be created and things get out of hand. And even we don't understand how much we are spending for the Azure subscription. But natively, Azure offers few analysis capabilities, which we can see now. And if you want to get a better insights on any one of these subscription costs, I can quickly jump into the subscription and get further analysis. I have a cost analysis feature in Azure portal, which helps me to analyze the cost on a particular subscription. So, so far my current, my current Azure spend is like 10,000 rupees. So I can even change the currency according to my convenience as well. So currently it is an Indian rupees, but you can even change it to USDs as per your requirements. I get an overall cost spend analysis here and from this dashboard, and it also predicts the future currency the future cost that I will be encountering at the end of the current billing cycle. And apart from the overall visualization, I can even drill down deeper and get insights like for each and every resource within my subscription, what is the total expense? For each and every region, what is the total expense? And even resource group wise expense has been calculated from the Azure portal. But there is a drawback or limitation with this visualization. Currently, I'm able to visualize the cost pin only on one subscription, but I cannot view the cost pin across multiple subscriptions simultaneously. So this demands a better visualization features from the Azure portal. And luckily, we have other solutions in the market which can help us visualize the cost pin on multiple subscriptions. One such solution is Cost Analyzer from Serverless 360. So Cost Analyzer from Serverless 360 can help you visualize the cost spent across multiple subscriptions simultaneously. I get a better view of all the costs spent across multiple subscriptions within my organization. I have 17 different subscriptions and the costs spent across these 17 different subscriptions can be visualized from a single place. I need not switch to multiple subscriptions. I get access to all of the costs in single dashboard. I can even switch to a table view and export this data into an Excel format for future references as well. So currently I'm visualizing the cost spin across multiple of my subscriptions. And if I want to get a cost trend, I can even do it. But if you want to compare the spend across multiple timeframes, that is also possible from cost analyzer. I have a compare option. I can choose across two different timeframes and get comparison. Currently I'm doing a simple comparison between the cost spin on the month of September and month of October. So I get an overall difference on the cost. So for a few of my subscription, the cost of the budget has been increased and in, increased over time. And in few other subscriptions, the cost has been decreased. If I want to get insights, like what are all the resources that constitutes for this increase in cost, I can even do a single resource group level visualization for that particular subscription alone, which in turn helps me to understand for which resource group I'm spending the most on that subscription. And I can even drill down deeper and understand in which resource the cost has been increased drastically. There are multiple view options in Serverless 360, which helps you even to understand the past trend on your Azure subscription. In this past six months of visualization, for one of my subscription, for my dev subscription, the cost has been increased drastically in the month of August. And if I want to drill down deeper and understand in which resource the cost has been increased, I can even do it and get further details. So the cost analyzer acts as a single window to compare the cost across multiple subscriptions simultaneously. Currently, the grouping has been done on subscription level, and if your Azure environment has been properly tagged using Azure Tags, we can even get application level cost. Serverless 360 not only allows us to visualize the cost, it can also do monitoring based upon the budgets that we have configured. You can configure budgets on your Azure subscription and get alerts. The budget can be configured, the monitoring can be performed on daily basis and monthly basis as well. Budgets can be configured in Serverless 360 and whenever a particular subscription or application 
expense goes beyond that particular budget, serverless 360 can detect it and send you an alert report so that you can take necessary actions to do the cost cutting. Gartner states 45% of the company overspends without the proper cost optimization strategies. So it is mandatory for every company to have a cost optimization plan to avoid overspend. Serverless 360 also got an optimization feature inbuilt within it, which can be created on resources like app service plans. Your app service plan always need not be in a full-fledged premium pricing tier. There will be low load free scenarios in your business and there will be non-business hours as well. Currently, my uptime configuration is scheduled to run on working business days. So that is on Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Rest of the days, I consider it as low frequencies. So I have marked it as downtime. If I go next, I can choose my uptime configuration and downtime configuration. So my uptime configuration can be premium, where I, leave, where I receive a lot of uh, loads on your business and my app service plan can be in a full-fledged premium tier. But during downtime, instead of entirely shutting down my app service plan, I can reduce this app service plan to a lower pricing tier, either basic or standard, which in turn helps me to do a cost cutting on this particular app service plan. Even I get an optimized value when I perform this optimization. So currently my cost is like $200 and after optimization, my cost will be $96. I can do nearly 50% of the cost reduction using the serverless 360's cost optimization. Hope this helps you in taking better decisions on the cost spin across multiple subscriptions. Have a good day then.